Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk about Altair Inspire Motion, which is the motion analysis tool that's built inside of Inspire. To start, I just want to look at the interface. You can see the ribbon style is very familiar, uh, very used to what you would know from different design tools. So for this video, I really want to show topology optimization in combination with the motion analysis uh, to really reduce the weight of this bracket right here. So to start this, I need to see what are my grounded parts or what parts are not going to move in the motion. Now, next I'm going to select the rigid parts in my motion. You can use flexible parts, but for this example, I'm going to use rigid parts. And on this one, I'm going to use this mount assembly and the Y bracket as my rigid parts. Okay, now let's look at this really cool tool. This joints icon up here at the top on the ribbon allows me to identify all the joints without having to go through individually and choose each joint. Uh, it saves a ton of time. Now, since this is a motion example, I do need to add a motor. Just click on the icon at the top, click the face, double click it again to add the motor. Now, from here, you can see the motor has some options. You can use an angle motor, speed, torque, or acceleration. I think for this one, I'm just going to use an angle one just to show you how that works. Now this property editor over here allows you to change some of the parameters of your motor. The only thing I'm really going to change here is adding a full second for the revolution. Next I just want to make sure my gravity is lined up. You can see it's headed straight down. You can change this depending on the way this flywheel might be situated in your overall design. So let's just change this to 15 degrees. Great, now I'm just gonna run a quick motion to make sure everything is set up correctly. Now one cool feature of Inspire Motion is that after you've done that, you can do quick checks on some of the results that you're getting out of the motion. So you can just click on that, you see a quick understanding of the joins or the different things that you're seeing. Okay, so getting a little deeper into the motion analysis. There are some options you can change. For this one, I'm gonna choose static, change the time, and kind of leave it there. Just know that all these options exist and you can use them as you need. Okay, now that the motion is done, let's look at the optimization side. Now what I'm doing is telling Inspire what is the part, what's my design space that I want to be optimized. So I select this bracket as my design space, I'm going to add some symmetry and this is basically saying as you make your optimized shape make sure it's symmetrical along these different uh, planes i don't want it to be symmetrical around this plane because i have different geometry needs so i'm just going to click that get rid of it and save that part now if this part is going to be casted or injection molded i'm going to want to make sure it can get out of the mold so i'm going to set up symmetry along a split draw as well Okay, one last step before you run. Just hit the part optimization icon, look through all the different options. You can see there's quite a few options in here, really depending on what your application is. I'm gonna leave this one pretty standard and then hit run. Now, once that's done, you can see the results are a fully optimized part with the motion included. You can take it from here on any design changes you wanna make use the poly nerves to smooth out this part and make it manufacturable. Hopefully this was worthwhile and a good look at seeing Inspire Motion, especially with optimization. If you need anything else, please see True Insight. Thanks.